Ban Ki Moon initiative hosts red carpet reception for heads of state. Citizens praise global leaders to deliver on their promises. Hello and Namaste. My name is Samzana Fuyan from White Ribbon Alliance Citizens Voice. Today in New York, the Every Woman, Every Child initiative brought together presidents, prime ministers and cabinet ministers to renew and further their commitments to the health of women and children. Renuka Motihar and David Lamuar report. We are here at the Every Woman, Every Child event in New York where many heads of states and senior officials have gathered together. They are here to reinforce their commitment and push for progress. Statistics do not always paint a true picture. Apparent insignificant maternal and child mortality figures can, can and do obscure reality. But for any child who loses the mother, or a parent who loses a child, no mortality figure is acceptable or indeed justifiable. The commitments are being made by their countries as well as by the international community. So we see the possibility of a new partnership, a new partnership of accountability at the country level and at the donor community level. Not only is the event of birth and pregnancy uh, the major cause of maternal mortality, it's the major cause of child mortality. So it all links together and everybody not only has to live up to their commitment and the Secretary General and all of us are making sure they do, we need this big push we're going to talk about tonight to get it over the finish line by the end of 2015. One of the achievements that we have already recorded is the increase in human resources for health. And that uh, came about by the fact that we have increased the intake in our health colleges. The aim was to produce about 10,000 health workers per year. At the moment we are producing 7,000 and it is hoped that by 2015 we'll be able to produce 10,000 per year. Most of the health facilities in Tanzania uh, do not have people to man them. This is one area where collaboration between partners and the local uh, uh, the government in Tanzania has achieved uh, a good number of uh, health workers being uh, produced from our colleges and the intention is to deploy them to different places and put forward mechanism to retain them so that they can provide the health services in different areas. The every woman, every child, if we deliver on our promises, we could save 16 million lives and these are women and children. And we can reduce many more um, millions of unwanted pregnancy and free women up you know, to do and to, uh, what they like and to realize their potential. We must hold people to account, including UN agencies, and uh, this is the job of uh, civil society groups. And I'd like to congratulate uh, the Right Women Alliance for all that they have done over the years. We are the team that can do it. We have made it to the finals. Let's win a championship. It's real easy. All we have to do is just have a lot of energy, dig deep, and just give, give, give. White Ribbon Alliance is at the forefront of accountability efforts to end needless deaths of women in childbirth. Join our conversation and add your voice. <laughs>